Hey everyone, it's Warren here, and I just wanted to show you how much information you can be pulling out of your GH3 shots. Uh, these were recorded at 72 megabits per second, uh, 24 frames a second, uh, MOV. So, let's take a look at this shot. You can see it's a very high contrast shot. This is how the shot looks normally, and... Um, it doesn't look too bad, actually. You can see a lot of information here in the in the darks, and you know you can easily see her face, and the, the highlights have been dealt with quite well. I made sure to expose for highlights because you can usually fix shadows, and I was thinking, oh, with this new 72 megabits per second in the GH3, I should be able to, um, you know, decently. I'm not expecting you know Alexa or, or Red Epic, but uh, let's see what we can do. So if we just bring up a simple color curve here and bring up all the shadows, you can see we actually get a lot of information here and it's not it's grainy whatsoever. Uh, a little bit here in sort of the mid, mid range like on this uh, headrest and I can just bring that down. Kind of like that. And with a bit of tweaking, you get an awesome uh, result. Then what you can do is you can grade uh, this shot. And if you want, you can even pull down the highlights just a tiny little bit to make it a little easier. And then if you look at this if th at this picture compared to the original, uh, there's just lots of stuff that is showing up in uh, all the shadows that we didn't see before. So we have Molly sitting here. And as you can see, the shot's a bit dark, but I made sure that the highlights, at least most of them, aren't blown out. So we bring in our curve, bring up the shadows a little bit, and a grain-free uh, image. It, it's amazing what these GH3 files are, are showing up with. And if you bring this down, parts of the image he thought were blown, like in his hat here, if you bring this down enough, obviously this looks kind of bad, but uh, it, the information is still there. Nothing is blown out, nothing is lost. In fact, you can even see some stuff out the window uh, right up here that wasn't there before. So I just thought I would share that little bit of uh, information with you that you can pull this image basically to about here to flatten it. And I mean, it's just amazing. This is a completely usable shot. There's no grain. It's, I mean, and what, the, what little there is is so unnoticeable that uh, it's it's pretty insane. This is me playing at the aperture. But um, yeah, I thought I would just share that with you guys and show you what you can do with some of this uh, GH3 footage. I hope you found this helpful and somewhat informative. And if you're thinking of buying a G and if you're thinking of buying a GH3, I highly recommend it. Um, the files coming out of this camera have been nothing short of amazing. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any other questions about the GH3 or any requests for videos that I could make about it, uh, let me know with a comment below and I will attend to those as soon as I possibly can. I feel like I just made my answering machine message for my phone. But I seriously will. I treat it like my answering machine for my iPhone and I'll do my best to get back to you. All right, see you guys. Bye-bye.